All right, folks, back in the lab. We've got major weight transfer issues, I've determined. Um, major problems hitting fat, hitting skinny. I think my spine angle is getting, I'm hanging back on impact. And so we're doing some, some pitching wedge work. I'm just gonna do some freezers. And what you see in the tour players is they'll make these back swings. They're loading, they're loading, and they're then they'll start to shift before they even finish their back swing. So that's we're gonna get five out right here. Let's see what happens. Also been working on posture, trying to tuck the pelvis. Uh, not not slouch so much. I think that helps better with rotation. Got the club down here as well. I think I've been playing the ball back in my stance uh, unintentionally. So we're not going to do that anymore. Trying to get the club face with the with the spine angle here. Not too open, not too closed. Trying to make a nice turn and I'm trying to move into it. A little thin. And I do know that the shots are probably gonna be a little flatter in here because I'm not I'm not finishing you know high. I do have to have a, a sawed off finish. So I am conscientious of that, but I am just trying to trying to just feel the compression that we all like. I have a mirror back there that you guys can't see. So pelvis, trying to keep my posture up, trying to keep my weight in the heels a little bit more. If I get on my toes, I feel like I'm humping the ball or something. I just like going slow and trying to get this right. Heavy, fat, story of my life. Pelvis posture, trying to keep my spine angle, trying to cover the ball, as they say. Heavy, fat, story of my life thus far. I do flirt around sometimes with the single plane. I just feel like I have more space into the ball. I'm going to try that. Heavy, fat. All right. There is, I, I do wonder about the freezer, the slow, you know, if there's a little more fluidity, I feel like I can get to that left side easier. I just throw some of those in there from time to time. All right, I want to get one good one for today's video. So 
0 for 5 on proper strikes there. I'm probably going to continue to work on that for, I don't know, it's like 9.45. I probably, I probably got another half hour in me. Um, but yeah, weight shifting is so major key and I don't do it well. So uh, that's what I'm working on. That was nine iron. Um, you know, we'll see how it goes, but shout out to Riggs at Barstool, um, doing the matchups with the haters. Uh, can you imagine having to be, uh, an amateur golfer and doing it, performing with cameras all the time and for the audiences, um, the pressure that would put on you? And so I think a lot of those guys who do content creating uh, with golf, you know, I think they have pretty good nerves by now. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how, you know, he's going to pluck one of those haters that always shits on him and uh, in the comments on Riggs swing and whatnot. So uh, I dig I dig Riggs for the most part. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing how that goes. Uh, and to be honest, I am, am kind of hoping that whoever he plucks out of the comments kind of shits the bed and we can get uh, a little good dose of reality out to folks who sit in post hate and bullshit to content creators thinking it's the easiest thing in the world. And, but who knows, maybe these, some of these people, they have great swings and they play great golf. Um, like the handful of great golfers I know that play and have repeatable, consistent swings. It's funny thing. They don't, uh, I don't ever hear them talking like all the, the shit talkers in, um, in the posts and the comments that you see on like rigs swing and whatnot. So, uh, I have a inkling that whoever they pull out of the comments, I think they already recorded one, um, might not be that great, but what do I know? So we'll see. <laughs>